welcome, welcome. How is welcome. everybody today? You feeling good? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now look at this handwriting sample and ask yourself this question. Would you let this person date your daughter? Raise your hand if you would not let this person date your daughter. That's just about everybody. Good, good. Now, those of you that raised your hands and that have never had any handwriting classes before, please tell me why. Why? You're just, you, you're just using your intuition. That's okay. I may be right in this situation. Okay. You don't like the feel of it. Good. How about you? Very confusing, right? The writings cling together. Now, you don't know that means confusing, but it does. It means confusion of thought. How about you, sir? It's jumble. All right, that's a good, good observation. It's jumbled. Anything else? Cluttered. Cluttered. Now, just because someone says that they have cluttered handwriting, does that mean that they're violent and crim criminal behavior? You can hardly read what is writing. You know, many prime ministers, you can't read their signature either. <laughs> doctors? You don't trust all doctors either? You see my point? The evidence is in here, but you intuitively believe that this is a very bad guy. You believe it's a very bad guy. Okay? Now, by the end of the day, I'm going to show you, stroke by stroke, why this is a bad guy. You'll be able to know, because of the dots, the shape of the Y, the way he makes his O's, the shape of his T's, all this information, you'll know why this is a bad guy, but not intuitively. By the way, those of, the, those of you that are psychic, I applaud you. It's a neat skill to have. I don't have it. I had to learn this the hard way, science. But if you're psychic, that's really helpful. But show this handwriting to anybody, and they will say, oh my God, handwriting analysis must, at some level, reveal character, right? It must. There's something really wrong with this guy. Which would be more fun at a party? Which handwriting would be more fun at a party? Now, I only want beginners to answer here, okay? I only want beginners because I want you to use your intuition because my point is sometimes your intuition will lead us to what a hundred years of research has proven to us. Okay? You, sir, you were saying something. Which one? Dorothy would be more fun. Why do you think that? Broad strokes. Okay, so more expansive might mean more extroverted. Is that... It's a good theory. Okay? More friendly. Because he takes up more paper, maybe? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, let's guess. The person on the right, Dorothy would always be more fun at a party because Dorothy is more extroverted. And here's the reasons why. The writing is larger, takes up more room on the paper. See, Donna writes smaller, so she actually condenses her energy. So instead of saying, hello, I'm at the party. That's Dorothy. Donna goes, hello, I'm at the party. See the difference? Body language, very similar to that situation there, okay? Plus, she writes vertically, very straight up and down. Those people tend to be more withdrawn. They're not as expressive. Dorothy, slants to the right. She's like, hello, good to meet you, much more expressive. And the Henry slants all uphill, so it's optimism. So all uphill, again, gregarious, happy-go-lucky attitude. Now, these are all specific scientific traits, which you'll learn, and then you can look at that, and you can always get the right answer. Most people go, you know, I, I'm just guessing, but it looks like Dorothy would be more fun because she just has bigger writing. Okay. So a lot of the things that we intuitively know, we've done 100 years of research to prove, yes, this is true, or no, this is not true. 
And believe me, there's a lot of stuff that I basically don't talk about because I found it wasn't true. Okay? Very simple. Any questions on that? Do you understand the differences, why that might be a better answer? Excellent, excellent. 